Hey guys, it's Jack and today I'm going to be doing a DIY video for you. This DIY is going to be a reputation themed phone case and it is going to be made using the reputation target exclusive magazines. Um, only, you only need one of them, you don't need both of them obviously. And uh, this video idea was uh, made by my friend Jacob. He uh, did this and he showed it to me on Instagram and he uh, told me I should make a DIY video for it. And I thought it was awesome and I just got a new phone. I got an iPhone SE and I got a clear phone case. So I thought this is going to be the perfect DIY for me to do. Um, and so I'm going to show you how it involves these magazines. Uh, if you don't know, these magazines uh, come with the Reputation CD in it. But it's not like the normal CD, like this one right here. It is actually a make your own fold out CD. It's like a... I don't know what to call it, what to call it, but it's like in here and you like rip it off and you have to like make it yourself. And once you rip the CD off and like you make it, I, I keep one of them intact and the other one I actually made the CD. Um, but once you do that, you are left with this kind of flap thing and it just has like the directions on how to make the CD. And then there's just all of this extra space, this blank space. <laughs> that was stupid. Okay, cool. Um, and I'm going to basically cut this out into the shape of my clear phone case and make it into a little reputation themed case. It says like Taylor Swift and like T Swift and stuff. So I'm going to show you how to do that and probably fail tremendously um, because Jacob did it a lot better than I did. Um, and yeah, also I got this recently, um, yesterday actually. Um, I went into Walgreens and they had this uh, CD stand for reputation and I asked if I could have it and they said yes and then they gave it to me. So I put all my Taylor Swift CDs in here. Actually a while ago, or I mean three years ago, I got the exact same one from Walgreens for 1989. So I have this now and I used to use that one, but it's kind of like falling apart and stuff. And like I wouldn't do a giveaway for this because like it's like special kind of and it's like a super cool like collector's item. It's kind of like I haven't really seen what many people have. So I have that now and then really quickly before I start the DIY, um I'm going to be doing a reputation merchandise collection hopefully next week. Um, because I'm waiting for one more item that I have to come in the mail. It is the Black Reputation Beanie, and I'll show you all my Reputation merchandise so far. So yeah, uh, without any further ado, let's get right into this DIY. Okay, so the things that you'll need for this DIY are one of the two Taylor Swift Reputation Target magazines, or you can print out the pattern online. I haven't found it. But I'm sure that you could. Um, also, um, even if you aren't planning on doing this DIY, I'd recommend getting these magazines because they are super, super cool and they come with the album and it gives so much more insight into how the album was made. So you'll need one of those. I am using scissors, a Sharpie, an X-Acto knife. Please have your parents' permission to use this because it's very sharp and a clear phone case. So this is mine and it has the... Reputation album cover phone stand pop socket, which I will be showing in next week's video. So, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is cut the um, newspaper portion out, or the newspaper pattern portion out of the magazine. So, this is very, very um, flimsy, and there's another cut line right here. So, I am very cautious about doing this um, because of one small like rip and it's not going to be able to be done um, you might be able to like salvage that but I have no idea so I'm going to just inspect this a little bit and I guess I'm going to find a way to cut this out and then show you uh, I'm like behind this like box that I set up as like a tripod for filming so I'm going to cut this out and then I'll tell you how I did it afterwards but I need to like make sure that I don't mess it up so yeah so after many, many tries and a bunch of accidental cuts, I did get this part out. Um, turns out that there is actually another like tear ridge kind of thing at the top. So you can just like tear this part off, but it's very, very close to the binding of the magazine, so it's hard to get out. But once you get this piece out, we don't need the other part. It's just like the big part that has all of the newspaper on it. You have to make sure that this fits your phone case that you are using. In my case, it does. I don't. Um, I am using the SE, which is smaller. So you probably have to cut out a bigger piece in order to use it with other phone cases. Um, and so what I'm going to do now is just put this on the back side right here. And then with my permanent marker or my Sharpie, I am going to I'll move this. I am going to trace out the outline of the phone case. It does not have to be perfect. 
I'm just doing this because I'm going to cut around this line later. And I am going to probably get a bunch of Sharpie on this phone case, which I will wipe off later. But this does not need to be perfect yet. This is just a kind of guess on where I'm going to be cutting it. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I have a bunch of Sharpie now on this phone case, so I need to go wipe that off before it dries. But I'm just going I just have this outlined and then I will cut it out. Okay, so it turns out I am wrong. Sharpie definitely does dry to this phone case very, very fast. Um wa normal water and soap would not wash it off, so I had to go to the bathroom and get some nail polish remover and get it off with that. So I definitely recommend taping up the sides before you do the tracing. But I am already done, so learn from my, my mistakes and just do this differently. Um, now I'm going to probably start using my scissors and then perfect it later on with my uh, X-Acto knife. So I'm going to cut this random shape that I made um, and I will time lapse this now. It was a lot of trial and error, but I eventually did fit my uh, newspaper down to the size of the phone case. There was only one more step left, and that is to cut out the hole for the um, camera. And so on the back, I'm going to see where the phone case starts, which is about here. About, so it's right here. And so I'm going to push that in a little bit and just mark off a small area right here. And I'm going to turn this, I'm going to take it out of the case and see if that is the actual size of the, I don't know how to explain this, but I'm going to keep measuring this and making sure that this is the correct size. Um, I'd rec And I'm just going to like cut out this like top part in order to make this the correct size. So I will come back to you when I'm finished with this. So this is what the finished product looked like. I just cut out a little hole for the camera and I sized everything down. I think the phone case looks awesome. Uh, it's like super unique and cool. And I definitely recommend trying this out. Cue the montage of this phone case right now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this DIY. It was so fun to make. And thank you to my friend Jacob for giving me the idea. It turned out really great and I'm really happy about how it looks. Um, please turn on your notifications and subscribe down below to be notified when I post my um, first Reputation merchandise collection. I got a bunch of the new pieces from the collection and I'm excited to show it off. So I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and you want me to do more DIYs and leave some requests down below. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.